Greetings everybody, Battery H here. Welcome to a game of Airport CEO as we play our first playthrough. Yeah, that's right. Oh, this game is still in early access, so there'll be some changes and whatnot. But we're going to get her started. I'm going to turn up the music here just a little bit. Okay, new airport. Uh, hairstyle... Little grain on me there. Not quite vampirish, because we could do that, but. Uh, those green eyes look evil. Let's go with brown eyes. Uh, smallish nose. Not such a happy mouth. We like that gray suit look. Better H as we continue. Confirm airport location. Well, we're going to take us into the heartland of America. Down near the Cincinnati Covington area because it's a major kind of east west north south hub for uh, traffic. So that sounds like a good idea. Eh? Now, the actual CVG airport is in Covington. So we're actually going to go here just uh, northeast of Cincinnati. Actually, let's make that uh, northwest of Cincinnati kind of along down here near the river valley. And we will be Cincinnati. Cincinnati Memorial Airport. Let's go with a bit there. And then we're going to go management mode moderate, I think. $100,000 at lunch. We're going to start ourselves making a small regional uh, general aviation kind of airport and then expand outward from there. So that's what we're going to be doing to begin with. That's the trick here is not to overextend ourselves on our uh, terminals and things like that. And we're going to want to build big ones. So, okay, here's the letter from uh, Gregor Fornsworth. Uh, the mayor trying to tell us, eh, well, you know, it's a lot of work and we hope you do better than the last idiots. Go to it, get them, get them done. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so to begin our little airport, we're going to start over here on the eastern side because, well, that's where we can do the most damage. I uh, will pause the game here. There's our uh, stuff. The airport's closed. No ATC tower. Uh, no runway. No aircraft stands. All these things we have to build before we can accept flights. So that is all well and good. Thank you very much. Okay, well, to begin with, to wit, the first thing we need to do is sign a construction contract. So let's go into contracts, take a look at here. We've got Highway Building Company, HWY, and Cincinnati Memorial Airport. Uh, yes, that's nice. Uh, the contract proposal gives us all these wonderful informations about the company that we don't really matter. Uh, solid investments, good investment, company management. Uh, main field is consoperous construction with gigantic indoor spaces such as power plants, stadiums, and airports. So they've never built a runway before. That's great. I think that's wonderful. They can do 53 contractors at $9.7 per contractor per hour. Uh, upon being supplied with blueprints, country, telephone, yes, okay, great. Wonderful. Sign on the dotted line. We're going to go back to our Gears of War here and summon up our construction folks. So we're going to deploy all of our people. And once, the, uh, once we get some blueprints laid down, we'll start up the game here, game time, and then we'll uh, get working with that. So first things we need to do is build some infrastructure. No, actually, the first thing is uh, a small runway here. And we're going to rotate this bad boy. We're going to put it over here because this is going to be kind of the general aviation side of our airport. And then we're going to bulldoze... Some of those trees. Because you don't want trees or anything near your airport, near runway. You're going to bulldoze these kinds of things here. I'm 
pretty much anything that's going to be in the sight line. We want all that out of the way because our next step then is to do some taxiways. And we're going to keep everything grass right here. Even though these are for small planes. We're going to give the standard wide taxiway. And again, we want to bulldoze some more areas right around here. And here come all of our little contractor folk. And you can see them dropping off supplies right up front here. Because after we get all of this done, We're going to build our small tower, and that's in structures. And the other infrastructure we need to do is some small taxiway stands. And the little red airplane means, well, you don't have a connection to a taxiway yet. We know we don't have not put the taxiway mode in yet. That's what we're doing now. Uh, apparently, we did not get all the taxiway put together here. set those holding points out there there we go then our planes have some place to stop at and we'll speed up time we want to get all this done quickly because then we'll be able to actually open the runway open up the airport start bringing in a little bit of money and we'll get ourselves some service while while they're building though I think the thing we need to do is go into procurement and unlock fuel service it's gonna cost us uh, fifty thousand dollars oh we don't have an aircraft stand actually built yet that's right we need to get one of those stands put together okay our towers up They're building the taxiway first, which is nice. I appreciate that, but the runway in one of the the taxi stand, the uh, the plane stands, would be a nice thing to have. Okay, we now have a taxi stand, so we can now go back into. Uh, procurement and unlock that it'll take two hours to unlock okay let's go in here general aviation set pushback point
We're going to call this GA3 and open stand. A taxiway connection. It, it does have a taxi. Oh, we don't have a taxiway connection yet. You're correct. You are correct, sir. All right, we're getting all of our taxiway connections finished off here. Okay, let's take a look at what our bits and pieces say. Airport is closed. Yes, no runway exists. We're well aware of that. New product has arrived. Uh, receipt for Avgas fuel service. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. GA1. Open the stand. Set push back point two. GA2. Got to make sure we set these things for general aviation. Otherwise, they will not take any plan. Any plane. Yeah, I can speak today. Now all of our crew has to do is finish the uh, runway and the taxiway, and we can open up this bad boy airport. Oh, my goodness. There's our runway. We will not be accepting commercials. Operation mode is takeoffs and landings, arrivals only, departures only. We, of course, need both. Um, open the runway. Always accept general airport. Airport open. And we're good to go there. Now, we're not through quite through with our uh, glorious little folks yet. More infrastructure is required. Service road. Now, we're going to concrete this part. vehicle checkpoint which is going to go right here We also need to build two structures. One is a vehicle depot. And the other is going to be a fuel farm.
then we can do things like ordering our fuel truck, ordering our fuel system, signing all that stuff up. We can start really accepting flights. Yay for us, then. And once we get all that done, we'll send all of our contractors home because we won't need them for a while. The idea is going to be to get somewhere in the neighborhood between $800,000 and a million dollars. And here come our very first customers. Yahoo! All right, look at that. We're actually starting to make money now. And what we need to do now is sign a contract with Nature Fuel. I think we're going to go with a small fuel company. Sign a contract. They will send someone out, and we're going to go into procurement and get ourselves an Avgas truck. And in about an hour, he'll come out, and we'll be able to start fueling up these planes. In the meantime, just checking to make sure that all of these things are put together. And then we can send all of our crews home. And here comes the Avgas uh, truck, and you can see our workers starting to file back, headed toward the buses. will fill up the fuel depot. The funny thing about this game is still all the vehicles only turn to the right. Here comes our fuel truck. He'll fill it up. That's why we placed our uh, our barn here on the side that we did. As you can see, we now have one fuel Avgas truck. Okay. I look at all of our wonderful little planes here. So we've got uh, more Cessnas and Cessnas and Cessnas headed from and going to all over places. And as they push back and take off again, we'll be able to get a whole new flight of aircraft in. Each one of them. Oh, <laughs> had a little trouble on landing there, did you, son? Each one of them giving us glorious runway fees, which help keep us in the black. Oh, the other thing we have to do, what, am I, what was I thinking? We have to go back into operations and turn on Avgas system. We don't have ramp agents yet. By turning on the Avgas, we're now starting to see, oh, look at that. Here we are pumping fuel. Excellent. Excellent indeed. And as you can see, we are now starting to actually make a little bit of money with five stands. Mm. I'm wondering if it's that tree there that's given us the cause of havoc. They were supposed to cut those trees down.
we may be able to dem only be able to demolish one thing at a time here. So let's take a look when our crews come in. Okay, there's one thing cut off. Let's demolish that tree there. Maybe they won't wobble around it any longer. That tree's been demolished. That tree's been, ah, here we go. Now we're going to get a big clump of trees and get rid of these other ones so that ATC and the tower can actually see what's going on in the ground. It's not such a big deal now, but it will be, from a realistic standpoint, it's very much a big deal. Okay, there you see the little guys out there with their saws and stump removers, and we're cleaning up the town now, ladies and gentlemen. And then here we can get these two items. Let's take a look at our mailbox. So, new product has arrived, new applications, and all that good stuff, but... Okay, cool. Now they're all gone. Okay. Now, at late night, the uh, general aviation does not work. They do not come in or go out. And once that happens, the actual price per hour will drop down to $13 an hour for overnight stays. Uh, however, we do need uh, $1,800 to repair our runway. Do have to keep those up in working shape. They are our lifeblood. do here is we can fast forward to the next day oh I hear the rain that's not good but it is springtime now it's summer <laughs> here we go and once we reach 4 a.m. the time will slow back down to normal if that happens we just hit the speed up button again Yes, the summer has arrived. We've got new applications and plenty of spam emails. And starting, I expect, about 6 o'clock. 6.17 takeoff, 6.55 takeoff, see. I don't know why they're doing that little wobble on the runway, but hey, they, they can't seem to land on center line is what it is. They're taking off on center line quite nicely, but not now that see that one did. He landed quite nicely. Maybe we've got some crosswinds blowing that I'm unaware of. Our fueling Bowser is going dutifully around from plane to plane and taking care of business. That will bring in lots of money.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this episode rather short here. And I'm just going to let this roll on for a little while till we get somewhere around the $800,000 mark. And we'll pick it up then. This way you're not seeing through a bunch of things that uh, you haven't seen before. I may add another uh, stand or two over here to kind of move things along, but that would be about it. Don't expect any other new services or anything to crop in. Until next time, everybody. Uh, remember, you can follow me on Twitter at BatteryH, and I'm also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash battery underscore H. Have a great day, everyone. Happy landings.